Hello and welcome back to Minecraft. I'm standing here on my balcony with a stick in my hand, ready to punch you people. Don't know why, but maybe you'll like it, who knows. Uh, but yeah, I am not home today. Actually, I'm recording this yesterday, but today I am out uh, watching Europe's third largest carnival, Denmark's largest, the Oldburg Carnival. Um, yeah, it takes place today. I uh, I left home. I, I'm actually I might. I, it's hard to tell w what exactly I did, but this is my plan. My plan is to leave home at around uh, nine o'clock. The, uh, the the parade uh, starts around ten. Well, there's actually two start points: one at eleven and one at ten. But the one I'm gonna watch starts at ten. I'm gonna stand. There's a bridge uh, le leading across a, a body of water. Where I used to live very close to, actually li used to live clo really close by, and from that I learned that uh, you could see uh, a lot of it from from that point. So I am going to be there at like 10 o'clock when it begins, and just watching all the people. And um, a lot of the people aren't really that well uh, dressed, and the costumes aren't really that good. A lot of people just take, oh, I have a mustache, or oh, I'm going to put a... a a sheet and now I'm a, a ghost, or I'm gonna put a sheet around me and now I'm a, a Roman or Greek and something like that. So um, a lot of people are just doing that and then that get shit drunk out of their mind. Um, but there are a few people who actually uh, who are actually very very creative and those are really interesting to watch and see their costumes and their floats and stuff like that because there are some people that actually make floats usually just small floats like for instance they have like a a trolley of some sort and they then a uh, baby carriage thing and then just decorate it, in, it, it creatively uh, other times it's just not nothing like a, just a small wagon with beer and stuff like that in it uh, most of those actually but yeah that's my original plan to go there and after that, uh, I'm just gonna work on, I'm gonna probably go close to the the area where the big uh, party is. But it it costs a lot of money to the, get into the area, which is kind of lame because the place they're holding it, they're holding the uh, carnival party, is in a public park that is usually open for everyone. But this day, you have to pay to get into an otherwise public place. And I, I'm I guess I'm okay with that, but I'm not okay with paying for it. It's kind of stupid to pay for something that you, to go get to a place where you usually can get for free, just to be among other people. Because there's tons of party outside. Because a lot of people there's some nearby green areas where people sit instead. So I'm gonna pretty much walk around there, maybe run, run into some people and meet. But my main plan is to go around to the, that place and also a little bit around in town, and see what the the drunkards get into the trouble they get into what acting people acting dumb because believe me that that's funny to just see people you usually see people around three o'clock sometimes even earlier and in the afternoon they're on the way home because they're too drunk or just sleeping on a bench someone don't, some people don't even get to a bench and just fall asleep in the middle of the sidewalk or something like that it's it, I I have mixed feelings about this carnival because it is most for most people just an excuse to drink themselves stupid like really stupid and 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 then add uh, dress as women that's a that's a big thing a lot of men dressing as women and then a, a lot of the same men will probably be the ones that say the rest of the year if they see a w man in women's clothes they're gonna make fun of him and that's another thing I hate about carnivals and stuff like that and other Halloween and stuff like that it's like oh this t day or this one day or these few days a year it's okay to dress weird but the rest of the time nope you have to dress a certain way to fit in so and a lot of the people feel free those day days to actually express themselves creatively, and and uh, and then the rest of the year they can't. Some people are feeling bad about that because they want to do it all year. 
other people are like content with just doing that one time of year and the rest of the time they they like see other people dressing weird and they're saying ugh why do you dress so weird but it's okay on certain days but no not today and that's kind of bullshit i know some people that are perfectly okay with dressing uh alternatively i'd say and i'm not talking about people with piercings or baggy clothes or clothes with holes in them or like clothes held together by safety pins or people with big mohawks in my opinion that's not really alternative that's pretty standard way of looking nowadays i'm talking really alternative it's hard to explain but very colorful clothing for instance or like for instance men dressing in women's clothing and or just skirts not necessarily women's clothes i have a couple of friends who had nothing no problem with wearing skirts and I think that's okay. It's not me. Uh, not because I have anything against it, but because I don't look good in a skirt. I, I've tried. I don't look good in a skirt, trust me. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. So my plan for today... Well, tomorrow, when I'm recording this, but today when you're watching this. Like I said, to start off by watching the carnival uh, parade. And um, seeing if there's some creative people among them. And... Uh, then later on just walk around a bit in town and in the park area where the the fest festival is and just see maybe see some more people that are creative and maybe meet run into some friends uh or maybe just like i said watch all the drunk people act stupid and then i'll be home around i don't know when my i plan to be home i might be early might be late it, it depends some year i some years i've like been home around already around four o'clock. Other times I've been home around eleven at night. Uh, most of well, most of those times has been like if I I've been partying myself. But since I don't drink anymore, there's probably not going to be much of that. Uh, oh, there's snow up here, and there's a chicken. Nice view. Uh, I I have actually taken part in the carnival a couple of times. One of the times we were a flock of friends uh, who had a uh, dressed as a black block. You know the the kind of thing you see at like protests where the, the all people dressed in black and stuff like that. Now the strange thing about it, most of the people who were who were among us who were dressed as black block were actually people that probably would take place in black block, including myself. Um, so. Never actually been to Black Block because most of the demonstrations that I've been to, uh, where there had been a Black Block, I ended up taking part in another one because that's where all the people I knew was. Like, for instance, I was in uh, Rostock, Germany at the G8 Summit and every all of the, the people I was with didn't take uh, part in the Black Block. So I didn't want to be, like, the only one among a lot of Germans and other people I don't know. So, but... I mean, I was, and I mean, I still am an anarchist, but I was more like over oh, in the, the punk kind of thing. Uh, not that much anymore. I still have the mentality, but not the the look. But I guess the mentality is the the most important part, which a lot of people don't seem to understand. They think it's all in the looks. But yeah, uh, so we dressed as a, a black block and kind of just, you know, all dressed in black and like have uh, masks we could put on and stuff like that. We were supposed to, uh, we, we wanted to make some uh, foam uh, stone uh, to throw, but we never got around to that. That was a really fun experience, although most of us were already kind of semi-drunk or a little bit drunk from the day before because we uh, was at a home uh, a friend's home partying the day before. I slept in a closet, uh, <laughs> which was kind of weird. Um, but yeah, so that that's one of the times it took place. The other time it was just a small thing, but uh, but yeah, it, it's not really my kind of thing. The whole carnival kind of. Uh, I like to watch the thing and stuff like that, and that's what I intend to do tomorrow. Well, today's videos are limited because of this. Uh, I've had a lot of things to do during the week, so I haven't had time to make prepare any of it until today, Friday, yesterday, from when you're watching this. So I've been I've had a lot of videos to record today. So there will be you'll get uh, only 
the fall in Earth, second fall, but it's uh, like an over an hour, an hour and six minutes, around nine, and I can't remember, somewhere around that. Uh, so no uh, grey matter today, sorry about that, but you will get a long episode instead of Fall on Earth. Tomorrow I will probably, maybe, not 100% sure, but I will probably maybe be back in the caves trying to, for the third time trying to make my way out of the cave back in the other world but um, yeah second fall today and uh, I can't tell by now but I'm probably right now out enjoying the carnival or just getting home from the carnival and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably talk about it in tomorrow's vlog a little bit about how it was, if there was any interesting people, any people who were doing anything extraordinarily dumb because of alcohol. Uh, so yeah, come back tomorrow for that. And uh, I'll see you in the future. Bye. <laughs>